Hello everyone! It's recently come to my attention that there are a lot of missing parents in Stardew Valley. Which is actually kind of funny, because I've spent most of my career trying to make as many children as possible disappear. But it's not a big mystery what happened to them. One prismatic shard is a small price to pay for freedom. However, today's mystery is focused on everyone's favorite mopey vampire, Sebastian. Because his pale white skin and black hair might suggest that Demetrius probably isn't the father. Also, he's a scientist and a father. So logically, that just doesn't line up with our mystery at all, because Sebastian is an idiot and doesn't have a dad. Robin obviously being the mother, at least she's supposed to be. She is a ginger though, and Sebastian is definitely not very ginger. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. I have, and I've had children with approximately 50% of them, and eliminated 100% of those children. Until little Sebastian is ready to come out and play, I'm going to sit here and analyze every little movie does. Now the main subjects of this investigation are going to be Robin and Demetrius, his alleged parents, and his half-sister Maru. If anyone knows anything, it's probably them. He also has a friend that wanders in and out of his bedroom on occasion, I think his name is Sam. I might talk to him at some point to see if he knows anything. I was paying attention so hard he walked right past me, all the way to the kitchen and then left again. Suspicious behavior already. You just moved in? Cool. It's very cool. I'm gonna find your dad for you. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town? Yeah, your dad told me it was a nice place to live. Oh wait. Right away, our prime candidate for Sebastian's father would have to be the wizard, because he already has one illegitimate secret child in town, another one wouldn't be that much of a stretch. And he's suspiciously hiding locked in his tower during this investigation. So we'll just have to wait and catch up with him when we can. What do you know about your brother's father? Aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru, I've been looking forward to meeting you. This is a pretty typical greeting for anyone who doesn't really know me yet, so as soon as I can, I'm actually going to move Evan up to two or even four hearts, because at that point, they start to give you a little more information than the generic, hey, how's it going? You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. Well, good news, I'm also working on bringing your half-brother's father back into town, so we'll have even more drama. It's officially Two Heart Tuesday. Everyone in the investigation is at two hearts, so they'll spill a little more information than they did yesterday. Also, we have to note that this is a day that everyone goes to yoga, so let's follow Robin all the way there to make sure she doesn't stray along the way. Speaking of strays, here's a potential father candidate who's not far away from Robin's shop at all, who mostly keeps to himself and we don't know his original hair color. Was it black? Is he a vampire? A stranger? Hello? Hi Linus, don't mind me, I'm just inquiring about a few things, don't mind me, I just live out here all alone. Well, defensive isn't he? He's all alone out here. Linus is now my new favorite as a candidate for Sebastian's father. But we still have to follow Robin all the way to yoga class today. Robin is on the move. Let's get her two heart dialogue before she even leaves. Catch her off guard. Hey, if you need any materials or blueprints, my shop is the place you're looking for. How about a guide to finding your son's father? Plus your business supports the local economy, which is absolutely no interest of mine. As you were, don't mind me. I'm just going to follow you everywhere you go today. To be honest, currently I can't think of any indication about Sebastian's father or that he even is Maru's half-brother. I know there's some mention of it somewhere, but I have no idea where, so we're just going to have to really tear this thing apart until we find something. I have no indication of what to go by right now. I do know that Pierre's store is an upstairs that we can't get to, so that's a mystery in itself. Is no one at all even concerned that I'm stalking Robin all the way from the carpenter shop to her yoga appointment? Ah, that's okay, I'll blend right in here. Now, I watch. Should I be concerned that Mary Lewis is also here for yoga day? I do all my grocery shopping here. I bet you do, Mary Lewis. I bet you do. Ah, here we go. Action time. I guess it's not so much yoga class as it is exercise class. Okay, Robin. My arms are strong, but my legs need work. Okay, George. Okay, Emily. Does Robin ever not show up for yoga day? Exercising can be fun. No, no it can't. Marnie smiles at you through a mist of sweat. Marnie's always smiling at me. Don't look. I'm all red and sweaty. Hmm, that's the same way Pierre looks when I find his stash of dirty magazines in his drawer. Breathe in, breathe out. Should actually write that down and send it to Haley. She has trouble with the most simple of tasks in her life. As much fun as I'm having here, I'm actually going to wait for the end of exercise class to see Robin's next move. Playtime's over, Emily's leaving. The other ladies stand to gossip. What are you guys talking about? Illegitimate children? We meet every week to encourage each other to stay healthy. Does that involve extracurricular exercise? Anyone? You look really fit, Jody. Those dumbbells do wonders, don't they? You're a dumbbell. Marnie, what do you got? I'm going to sleep well tonight. Is that because you have an appointment with Mayor Lewis? My arms feel like gelatin. And your face is killing me. Alright, she's back on the move, so we're going to go ahead and follow her to wherever she's going now. Probably straight back to her house. Or is she? If I had to make a wager, I'd say Robin is headed straight home and I'm probably not going to be allowed at the house this late. Oh, actually I am. 
Oh, and we have a heart event. This one's so early on that I don't think we're going to get any interesting information, so we're going to wait a few before we explore any of these. Alright, she's headed to bed. And fun fact, if you're actually here when they walk into a different room, they leave the door open so you can go in and explore stuff for yourself. Any secrets in here? Hi Robin, don't mind me. There's just a bunch of carpentry magazines. All about wood. So if I go like this... Nope, nothing happens. Robin's not biting. Let's try Sebastian's room. Maybe something in his room has some indication of who his father is. He's not even here. The radio isn't plugged in. I mean, why would it be? He clearly has two computers right here. Something I can interact with. What is this? As much fun as I'm having, it doesn't seem to do anything at all. Book on the ground? Graphic novel. And Salarian Chronicles, the game. There is a heart event involving that. One thing I'm going to do is wait right here until I pass out to see what Sebastian does after dark. And just in case he gets any smart ideas, I've come prepared. Excitingly enough, I think he's just going to bed. But I'm going to sit here and make sure he stays there. Okay, good night, Sebastian. I'll be on the floor if you need me. I think what we need to get some results is more hearts for everyone. I'm going all the way up to six hearts. It's between six and ten hearts that people really start to tell you all of their secrets. Plus, that gives me an interesting opportunity to marry a brother and sister. So, you guys agree to divorce then? Greetings. Stay inside if you want to keep warm. Trying to keep me from finding out some secrets, are we? I live in the rain. The rain doesn't stop me from getting a job done. Interesting. Another disagreement. Safe to assume then that Sebastian was conceived on a rainy day while Demetrius was inside reading his newspaper. Robin was out getting the job done. Maybe now it's just a matter of finding out who else likes to go out on a rainy day. Although soggy wood isn't a joy to work with. Well, it certainly doesn't lead to a lot of children, so maybe I was wrong. Sebastian, I know we're right in the middle of a heart event, but your mom is complaining about soggy wood. Oh hey, give me one sec. Yeah, I've got nothing but time in my busy life. I did this one not that long ago, so we're just going to go ahead and skip it all together. There's no information there. Oh, and the second heart event. Sam's here too. Andrew does play Salarian Chronicles, the game. It's actually a pretty fun heart event to go through, but not this time. Clearly, he's upset about the growing love between me and his mother. Unless I've got this all wrong, perhaps neither of these two are his parents, and he was simply adopted or found or created. Who knows? We do have this heart event, which I haven't seen in a long, long time. This might actually answer some clues. Oh, hello, DF. What, you haven't seen my motorcycle before? Hmm, I guess I haven't shown it to you. George is now officially the second coolest thing on two wheels in town. Sometimes after sundown, I make the long ride out of Stardew Valley. Perhaps to look for his long lost father. There's nothing else like it. Blazing along the empty stretch of road towards the faint glow of the city. You must show me. Once I've saved up enough money, I'm going to head out on my own to the city and beyond, just me and my bike. It doesn't sound like you need a lot of money to do that. You pretty much do it every night. There we go. Oil's changed. You're just like your father. Change the oil and then skip town. Hey, maybe I'll let you ride some time if you want. As much as I'd like to let him know how I really feel, we need to continue this investigation. That sounds fun. I can't wait to go for a ride. Especially considering George bites me every time I try his wheels. We need eight hearts. Things are getting a little more intimate, but eight hearts, ten hearts, that's where we're going to find any information. If we can find anything at all, they're really playing hard to get with this. Beautiful sunny day today, so you know what that means. There's no soggy wood, so Robin should be out and about. Searching for the next victim. Robin seems excited to see me. Hey yourself. You're always welcome to visit us, even if you aren't shopping, you know? That seems a little inviting. It can get pretty lonely up here in the mountains. That tells me pretty much everything I need to know. Demetrius, I want you to know that me and your wife are about 30 seconds away from running off and getting married together. How's the farming business going? It's parsnip season, isn't it? According to your wife, it's wood season. I can imagine it being pretty peaceful, working outdoors with the plants all day. Yeah, you know what I like to grow? Tomatoes. Idiot. Oh, look who wants to talk today. Tell me your secrets. Could you picture me living on a farm? Mostly just trying to picture you with a father and just can't do it. It seems ridiculous, but I've been thinking about it lately. Well, you've always had a ridiculous brain, so it's not that big of a stretch. You know what, Robin, while I'm here, you might as well put me down for the mumps special. Just wanted a little extra space in case of interrogation needs. No one here is giving me anything useful. Sebastian, we need to have a little talk. I usually stay inside, but I do go to the beach now and then. Interesting. Perhaps to visit his father, Willie, or even Elliot. Pretty much only when it's raining, though. Interesting. Maybe he's like his mother, likes to go outside in the rain. Where do they go? To the beach. We have two new suspects. This is interesting. For some reason, staring off into the bleak horizon makes me feel, I don't know, like it's worthwhile to keep pushing on, I guess. Your mom sure like pushing on on the beach. Uh, by the way, we're gonna have to go ahead and start dating for me to get any more information out of you. Also, we need to explore this beach thing of yours. Uh, while we're here, we might be able to squeeze a little more information out of your sister. 
And that's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Only a true carpenter like Robin could get wood on the beach. So let's go investigate. I'd wager Sebastian's already there. Oh, Sebastian, what a surprise. I had no idea you'd be here. Hey, I'm surprised to find you out here in the rain. Look at those dark clouds looming over the horizon. I hope they come this way. I hate to break it to you, but I suspect there's probably already clouds above our heads. In fact, they're dropping rain on us. I like the weather because it makes everyone disappear, you know? Uh, normally that's not the case. Unless a particular vampire uses the cover of darkness to murder people. Being around people makes me feel anxious. So is that like a trait you inherited from your father? Maybe someone who has to distance himself by living on the beach? I don't feel that way around you though. Excellent. Tell me everything you know about your parentage. We're getting soaked. Well, you definitely get that from your mom. You pull out an umbrella now of all times? We've been standing here for an hour in the rain. Here, there's room for two of us. You also get that from your mom. The first umbrella ever seen in Stardew Valley. Why is that not an option? Sebastian does love standing on the end of the dock, watching the weather roll in off the ocean, not unlike Willy. But Elliot is also on the beach. He does also seem a little wary of strangers. You can't go in his cabin very early on until you're friends with him, and he likes being alone out here. Also, he doesn't have any life skills either. He's just a writer. Though he may actually be the wizard's son, considering he made it all the way from the beach to his basement instantly. If you're lucky, you might see a frog in this weather. I couldn't imagine a better use of good luck. What are you two both doing back here? Greetings. Stay inside if you want to keep warm. The rain doesn't stop me from getting a job done. Again, another contradiction. Demetrius is an inside guy. Robin likes to go out. Sebastian was clearly a rainy day conception. First Tenhard event. Maru, hey, I was hoping you'd come by. Why is that? So I could watch your robot imitate Sebastian's dad and leave forever? Do you want to hang out for a while? Do you want to get married? Excellent. Once we're married, we can have kids. We can get those kids DNA tested, and then I can trace that back to find out your family tree. I'm surprised we didn't have the wedding on a rainy day. Now that we're married, are you excited for tomorrow's festival? It'll be good to see Sam again. Well, I see a lack of commitment runs in your family. Hey, do we have any pizza in the freezer? I'm hungry. Well, then walk yourself 30 feet over to the freezer and check. Wait a sec. He likes pizza. Do you know who else likes pizza? And who also has dark hair and is prone to being out in the rain late at night in a drunken stupor? We may have a new prime candidate. I'm busy, can't you tell? Age-wise, though, I'm not really sure that adds up. But they never really give you an age. It actually could be Shane. Plus, both Shane and Sebastian are unlikable idiots, so that kind of makes sense. So, what do we know this morning? I'm going to take a walk today. I need some time to myself. I'll see you in the evening. You know what? Sebastian might just have made his case for my favorite spouse ever. He just leaves all day. Do you know what Sebastian's favorite gifts are? Obsidian, frozen tear, pumpkin soup, sashimi, and a void egg. Who do those items remind you of? All items that seem magical, elemental, some of which are in fact purple. That kind of makes a case for the wizard once again. What does he think about purple obsidian? Many things. This item has some very interesting properties. Your son said the very same thing. That's funny. Sebastian said almost the same thing. So what do we know about Sebastian? Dark? Dwells underground? Avoids people? Maybe it's been obvious all along. 